How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? This is William. Um, I'm just going to... Um, uh, well, the first thing I want to let y'all know is that um, for some reason, my YouTube um, video uh, go live. It seemed to be doing some kind of blurry stuff. I don't know if it was the connection or whatever. But I'm pre-recording this video here, you know, so it won't have that distorting, you know, so y'all might miss a few words that I said. So, but here's a, a topic really quick, y'all. Did y'all see on news or news break about Lumberton, about that guy was shooting that guy was getting in that truck, he was a carjacker and he was taking that truck? Nah, come on, y'all. I mean, come on, let's be for real. That's what they got insurance for. DOT, so somebody steal or damage or whatever to their vehicles, they got insurance to cover that. You know, that man lost his life. That y'all see that truck mow that joker down with that truck? I mean, he snatched that truck and hit that joker and that joker died. Trying to save him, trying to um, save the company or truck from getting stolen. I mean, come on, y'all. I mean, man, I wonder what he would have done the same thing if it was his car. And then wait a minute, he was shooting the guy, so he had a gun on his side. So you know, he was shooting the guy. You know, and the guy backed up the truck and throw that thing and drive. And everybody was telling him to get out the way. Man, that joker mowed him down. Y'all go back if y'all ain't seen that video, go back and look at that man. He do he lost his life over trying to stop another man from taking a DOT truck. You know, that's senseless to me. You know, ain't no way in the world. I've been out there on that road. Go ahead. You, shoot, I ain't finna stop you, you know. I ain't finna put my life in danger to stop you from doing something. Cause you don't know what a car jack got. They could have guns, anything. You know, that property, you know, you can always replace property, but you can't replace replace a life. Uh, that's all I got to say about that, y'all. Now, let me move on to the other topic that I was speaking about earlier. This is uh, April 17th, 2024. And um, I, I noticed that my video was being distorted a lot, and I was talking about uh, relationship, right? And so the thing is, is that, um, like I said, we're in our 50s, right? You know, a lot of us in our 50s. And, you know, you sort of know what you want, know how to keep what you got, know how to love what you got, and know how to respect what you got. You know, at that, at that age, you supposed to know all that because you done went through all the drama in life. You went through different relationships in life. You went through different marriages in life. So it ain't been good. So at this point, you ought to know, in your 50, you ought to know what you want, how to keep it, how to love it, how to respect it, and how to get on with your life and stop the drama. You know, you got a lot of women in here still with that drama. That's why I, I said in my last video, y'all, you know, when a woman, a, a woman in a relationship and get told down by the previous relationship. Now she got a husband. She don't know how to treat a husband. Well, you know, it makes it even worse for a married woman. You know, they're like me, y'all. I've been married three, four, well, about twice to the same woman, but actually three times, but I married twice to the same woman. So that actually make me married four times. But women ain't getting this stuff. They get out here and get broke down, ripped down. Then they want to come along, get a good husband, want to treat them like, like, like he... Like he'll piece of paper or garbage or something. You know what I'm saying? Treat treat him like, I mean, I don't get it with these women. Y'all women's up here, y'all 50s and stuff, and don't know how to treat your husband. You don't need them. I'm going to have to be honest with you. You sit up here, and and, and that goes that goes to a double blow for the, the ones that's in the ministry and ain't doing right. Man, come on, man. I mean, it's worse. You know, you know, you know I, I told people, some people that I talked to, I said, you know what? I said... I'd have been hurt by women. And I and you get over it. After a while, you'll get over it. You know what I'm saying? But when you get spiritually hurt by a woman, let me tell y'all something. That's a whole different other level. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all that right now. That's a whole nother level to get hurt spiritually by a woman that you think is doing right in the Lord. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all in plenty of times, you know, that's a hurt. That, that you Like I said, you get... You can break up a relationship with a woman, you'll get over that. But when you get spiritually involved with a woman, that's a whole different other level, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all plenty of time that those who out there don't understand, this this kind of hurt is what you don't want. You don't want this spiritual hurt. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all that right now. Because that spiritual hurt take you away, uh, uh, have you going to take you away from here because they had me. Didn't know if I was going left, right, up, down. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to be honest with y'all. How I felt. I didn't know if I was going left, right, up, down, turn around in a circle. And, and I'm just being honest with y'all. So any of y'all that get hit with a minister or whatever, just mind those things. You know, because 
if you don't see, this is where people fall off short, especially in the ministry. I have seen people in the ministry. You know, because you're a minister, it don't make you obsolete from doing right by God in the flesh. Because first thing you got to do is do right by God in the flesh. Don't let that line come, that lie come through your mouth, that deceitfulness, your deceitful actions. See, that kind of stuff ought not be going on because how you spiritually in God and fleshly turn and, and fleshly doing the devil's work? You know, I believe that's what they call scrattering the fence or something. I guess that might be what they call it, scrattering the fence. Like you got one leg on this side of the spirit of God, then the other leg on the flesh side of the devil. So the devil running to one side of you and then the, then the other side of you is God. Uh-uh. Mm, that truck ain't, that, that ain't finna happen because God said I'll spew you out my mouth. So I'll spew you out my mouth. So if you're going to think you're going to serve God and the devil at the same time, you're going to get just what you get coming to you. I'm going to tell you that right now. And I'm talking about, I ain't just talking about, I ain't talking to no women. You know, it, make, it just make it worse. I'm talking about men too out there doing that wicked junk. You know what I'm saying? Hurting people spiritually because people look up to the minister, you know, upright, and they living right, they doing right, and their marriage is right. That's the first thing got to be because God said, if your home ain't in order, you ain't going to do nothing in that church neither. And I don't care which one of you hearing and talking against it. If your home ain't in order, you ain't got that church in order neither. You showing up, man, because if you ain't doing right in your home, you ain't going to go out there to that building and do right neither. And I said it. Showing up there to all you ministers out there doing that garbage and hurting people. You know, I heard before I got mixed up with a minister that how our ministers are do and how, how they hurt you and stuff. And they and then a lot of people say, them the worst one to get with. I beg the difference because if you live your life truly by the Lord, truly by God, you're going to do right by your husband. Ain't that right? Or uh, your wife. You're going to do right by your husband or you're going to do right by your wife. If you're claiming that you're, a man, that you're serving the Lord and doing the Lord's work and your flesh got to come clean. You got to make that flesh. You gotta, that's why you got to crucify that flesh, beat it down so that flesh will be subject to the spirit of God. Because that flesh, first of all, don't want to be subject to the spirit of God. It want to do its own thing contrary to God. That's why we can't please God in our flesh. Get that, y'all. Oh, I done talked a little long. Let me go ahead and... That, that go cold boy, I get hot with this boy. I bring it down. I bring the house down with this. You know what I'm saying? Learn something from this, y'all. Those got ears here. Those got eyes see and perceive what you're seeing. Those got a heart turning your heart around. You know, turn away from your wicked ways. Turn away from them devilish ways. You understand what I'm saying? And in the name of Jesus, understand the words that come from my mouth. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank y'all for joining.